Well, Mother's Day has passed, and that typically means it's safe to plant in your garden. But as the flowers bloom, be nice to the bees. They have given rise to one of Colorado's sweetest businesses. You're in good company with Bjorn's Honey. Pontus Jacobson is a servant of the queen because she's the key to the hive success. I, of course, want to say the most important animal that we have in the planet. Every fourth bite that you consume, um, it's there because of bees. He's a third generation farmer from Sweden and beekeeping is second nature. You don't have a stinger, so if you want a bee pet, that would be the perfect Get one. Get the drone. Okay. Get the drone. So when he settled down in Boulder, he stuck to what he knows best, harvesting honey and everything these precious insects produce. The first dandelions is coming, kind of coming up and that's the first nectar flow that we have in Colorado. That's the, the mark of the beekeeping season. He builds the bees a happy home and tends to several hives across the Front Range. In turn, they churn out a wealth of raw ingredients used in foods and skincare products. Together with our honeys, of course, we are a very health-oriented company. So we like to work with propolis, which is really good for allergies and colds, uh, royal jelly, the beeswax itself. You can see that there's a pollen uh, flow, which is cool. And this comes from oh, yeah. you know, a lot of crab apples right now. The hives reach full harvest in late summer, and Pontus bottles and jars the Bjorns line to sell at farmer's markets and boutique stores. So a teaspoon of this keeps the doctor away. Of course, I got to sample some of the freshest honey you'll ever have. Everything from traditional clover and spun varieties to sweet and spicy and lemon zest. Perfect for our for our sunny day here. Totally. Mm -hmm. Iced tea in the summer. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Thank you. But despite the buzz they've created, Pontus says he'll keep his business close-knit, like the colonies he cares for, because that's when the riches taste best. I want to be able to see every single jar that goes out. I want to make sure that, you know, I can stand behind my product. I want you to be able to give it to your kids and be proud that you serve your kid this, this honey. Oh, yeah, it's uh, so fresh. Pontus says if you're interested in beekeeping yourself in your backyard to just do some research first before you jump into it, you can find them at the Boulder County Farmers Market or on South Pearl Street in Denver. It is BjornsColoradoHoney.com if you want to check them out. My first time in a bee costume. Yeah. Uh, he said no, no sudden movements. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't start swatting well, and I panicking. Mean, shout out to your photographer too then because he yes. had to be in the costume yes, shooting that, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I asked him, I said, can, can bees smell fear? And he was like, uh, no, you know, just trying to calm me <laughs> down <laughs> as I walked into that. And he didn't give you a bee because then it would have been a free bee. That free oh, bee. Oh, I knew yes, there that, had to be yeah. one. <laughs> Isn't it good for your allergies too to eat? Local I've honey. Yes, 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 absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good for you too.